I'm gonna capture you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is already Monday, September 30. Today it's getting colder. Okay, I hope you wear your uh, thicker clothing to mass today. Hello. Okay. Today we are reading the Gospel from Saint Luke, chapter nine, verses 46 to 50. I gotta have Ava here because she's gonna be my prop today. Yeah. Anyway, the gospel, we'll read it. An argument arose among the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus realized the intention of their hearts and took a child and placed it by his side and said to them, Whoever receives this child in my name receives me. And whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. For the one who is least among all of you is the one who is the greatest. The one who is the least among all of you is the one who is the greatest. So our Lord realized the intention of their hearts. What does that mean? Our Lord can read hearts and minds. Of course, He knows what we have in our minds, what we have in our hearts. And He was looking at the disciples who were arguing who among them was the greatest. You know, maybe they were jockeying for positions, jockeying for positions, right? And say, oh, you know, I'm uh, um, I'm Peter, okay? I'm the one in charge of everybody. I'm the Pope, right? I'm the, I'm the one who was assigned the Pope among all of us, so I must be the greatest, right? And uh, I could imagine St. Peter being a little cocky, you know, because he's, he's a rough little fellow, and uh, and he could have asserted himself that way, right? Or you can imagine St. John, St. John, who could have also said, well, uh, I'm the youngest, I'm the favorite, right? Or maybe, uh, or maybe Thomas saying, oh, well, you know, what do you know? You're all fishermen. I'm the only one here who uh, knows uh, a little bit more than you. I, uh, you know, I'm going to be the accountant of the team, okay? Or, you know, or uh, James and John, uh, James who was... Uh, uh, called thunder and said oh you know i'm the strongest here so <laughs> everybody was trying to assert himself maybe right you can just imagine an argument happening and then jesus is just there looking at them and says these poor fellows let me show them what greatness is all about i'll give them a lesson and so he takes a little child and tells them Whoever receives this child in my name receives me. What does he mean by receiving this child? We got to look at Ava. Eh? Oh, <laughs> we got to look at Ava. There, our little baby, our little 10 month old, right? Ah, she knows she's being talked about. There, Ava. Hey, you see? There, you see? Little Ava is the last in the pecking order right she's our youngest she's the last but but she is she is many times the first in our in our mind right we always ask ourselves well, where's eva now what's eva doing what's happening with eva right because that's how babies are that's how babies are they're so attractive they're so attractive and and they're a magnet they're a magnet for us uh big people big brother big sister they're a magnet why because because they are uncomplicated because they're so simple they express what what is in them they express what what they feel they express uh, 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 um, their hunger, their joy, their their uh, their happiness, their disgust, their annoyances in in the simplest ways, right? 
Of course, I'm not saying we, we just blurt out our annoyances that way. What I'm referring to is the simplicity. The simplicity at which a child expresses himself or herself. And our Lord is telling us here, we have to adopt that kind of simplicity. We have to adopt that kind of transparency. We have to adopt the childlike mentality of somebody who doesn't have to assert himself to attract attention. Of somebody who is so humble that in that humility is where you find the strength of character of a person. Okay? That is what our Lord is trying to teach His disciples. That you don't become great in the kingdom of God by your cockiness. By asserting yourself and saying, proclaiming to the world how great you are. No, our Lord is telling them, you have to be a simple and as humble, as transparent as a child. Okay? Not being childish, but being childlike. And those, those nice virtues of children is what is attractive in the eyes of God. Because children say things as they are, right? They don't, they, there's no, oh yes, see, <laughs> as Ava is saying it as it is. Right? They're not complicated. They don't try to mask their, their, uh, their thoughts and their feelings behind facades. They do not uh, put up barriers of communication between people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right, Ava. Uh-huh. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> okay? So we, we, bigger brothers and sisters, have to learn from little Ava. We have to learn how to be simple before Jesus, simple before God especially, and simple and transparent before, before our own brothers and sisters, before everybody else. Okay? And that is the way that we'll be avoiding lies. That is the way that we will be uh, uh, hiding. We will, we, will be, we will avoid hiding what we are doing from other people so that they don't see what we're doing. Okay? Because that's where the devil comes in. That's where the devil starts tempting us when we start hiding, when we start, uh, when we start putting up barriers uh, so that people cannot see through us, right? And that's where lies come in. That is where all sorts of deceit and evil uh, tendencies seep into our souls when we are not transparent, when we are not humble, when we are not simple like children, okay? We become proud. And pride is the basis of all the other sins. Pride is what causes us to commit all the other sins. And so let's practice this, this transparency, this humility, this simplicity. Right? And in fact, in fact, here at home, yeah, <laughs> here at home we can practice what we have always been saying in this house, right? Give in to the little ones see give in to the little ones that is one very good way for us to practice humility give in to the little ones instead of fighting with the little ones let's give in to what the little ones like because that is the way we learn how to be selfless right forgetting ourselves not to be selfish but to be selfless and in that way we learn how to be humble we learn to be simple we learn to be transparent and cater to what the little ones need because that way we are serving them instead of serving ourselves and when we serve the others especially the little ones then we are learning to live these virtues well okay that's it for us folks that's it for us that's the way to be last right now um, that's the other comment i made for who whoever is least among you is the one who is the greatest so how do we how are we going to put into concrete practice this thing of being least? It is to give way to the little ones, right? Which is a motto that we have at home, right? And it's a nice motto. It will teach children uh, how to be the last, the last, but first in love, first in service, last as far as their own priorities are concerned. 
and we prioritize others by catering to the little ones. Okay, that's it for us. We're off to Mass. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. I got two. I got two of my uh, 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 old friends listening to us here. There's Efren and uh, Lito from the Philippines. Hi. Good evening to you, folks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.